Okay, we're looking at a retro 1950s bathroom here with all the plastic tiles and stuff. Uh, beautiful new uh, rug I bought. Uh, I did put a new vanity in here because the original one, the wall plate was rusted out. But, uh, it looks good in here. I kept the original sink. Someday I might find a plate. But basically a little old lady owned this house. And it's very obvious. Because it's like a 1955 time capsule. Uh, original towel bar holders. In perfect shape. Plastic tiles are just beautiful. All the woodwork throughout this whole house is just beautiful. Perfect. Older vintage style backplate under the light switch covers. But uh, she was uh, handicapped, so there was grab bars that were mounted here. But uh, basically, they put a 1980 shower kit in there, and it was cracking in the corners, and it was all rounded. It was like a it wasn't even a three-piece kit. It was all one piece. So I just replaced it all and put a brand new tile kit in. As you can see, the, the wood's still in, in here holding it snug. It's been glued down for about 24 hours, but I think I'm going to let it be for another day or two before I completely go around and cock this beautiful kit. Uh, I did install a grab bar here, which is very nice. Uh, I think... The shower doors were added probably in the 80s. They look like they're 80s style. They're in beautiful shape. A very nice retro green and white towel from the probably 70s or 80s. Uh, the tub is in beautiful shape. It is a, it's original tub. The house was built in 1955, so it's a 1955 Elger tub. It could be a 1954. Uh, Let's see here. All the original baseboard trim is just pretty much perfect. Uh, the original 1955 Elger toilet is just looks like it's new. It doesn't have any of the staining or anything going on anywhere. I did put a brand new toilet lid cover on there though. Uh, I did find a mint green 55 for Crown Victoria to kind of go with the bathroom. But as you can see, I will take the cover off of this and you will see uh, how clean the inside of this toilet. How clean it really is. It is not all rusted up and filthy. It's got minimal amount of stainage, you know, from over the years, but it is in very good condition very very good condition for the age of the toilet uh, put that back on there I'll go ahead and flush the toilet it works very nicely as it should And it fills back up as it should. And I think it's always kind of interesting at the end how it kind of makes a sound. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but I think it sounds pretty cool. So I'm not really too worried about it. But as that toilet fills up, we'll take a look. Of course, this is the new vanity I put in. This is the original uh, wall mount uh, medicine cabinet. And uh, I did a little makeover on that. Kind of painted the outside edges with some new kilts. See, there goes that toilet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it needs a little oil on that hinge, but it's still got the original paper in here. It looks beautiful inside. It's not all stained up. It's still got the little glass shelves, the two glass shelves. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with this medicine cabinet. 
The original light fixture was a circular wall mount and it had a piece of glass that kind of went like this. It was causing the sheetrock to crack very badly. So I went ahead and replaced that light fixture. Somebody actually gave me $75 for it. But I put something in that has a backing plate that keeps some of that heat off the wall. It's a lot better. But anyways, uh, I know the bathroom is pretty out of date. But, you know, when you got mint condition, you know, product, it's really kind of wasteful to get it, you know. And I think it looks very pretty. The colors are nice. Uh, I took one of the tiles in, very carefully took it off, and had to match the real closely and do a repaint on the... The old lady here before had painted it a lighter green. It just was a little too off, so I had to match it a little better. But anyways, I do think the one final thing... Uh, I do believe this linoleum floor is original. Uh, I'm not a 100% expert on this, but it looks old. Uh, it's got the marble swirl effect to it. So, I do think it's original. It goes into the, even into the, uh, you know, closet. So, anyways, uh, this is my retro 19... 55 bathroom that's in really good shape has an original toothbrush holder and a little soap dish on there that I use I put, Decorate with birds and she also left me a retro bottle of 1988 glass cleaner, so that's what I use to clean the glass up on this thing so Anyways y'all thank you for watching and this is my retro bathroom Have a great day